what your take is on the NIMBY concept, right, the not in my backyard and why America seems to have now turned back to nuclear energy. Uh, well, Dom, thank you so much. I agree with you. There's still this NIMBY. There's clearly more support for nuclear energy. I think the difference now versus years past is we now accept the negative attributes that carbon creates. When we were not talking about carbon emissions 10 years ago, 15 years ago, we are now talking about this. But I still think that NIMBY exists, and I don't really know if that's going to change. I think we may see some, uh, you know, key spots where we could build a nuclear reactor. But I think the biggest driver, and Pepper said it best, there's no commercial nuclear plant uh, currently in construction. The cost, I don't think we're going to see this build out that everyone's hoping for. Okay, so if that's the case, then, has the market gotten ahead of itself? I mean, we talked about Vistra. We talked about Constellation Energy. What exactly is what, is, what needs to happen for some of these valuations and the price expectations to actually fill in with the actual execution of these power plants and, and, and power providers? Sure. I, I think Constellation, I mean, if you just look at the Three Mile Island announcement, it's unbelievable. They're bringing 800 megawatts, 850 megawatts online for, I think it's around $2 billion. I mean, you look at that cost, it's just a little north of what it would cost to bring on a natural gas-fired power plant. That would, they were very opportunistic there, but I think those locations are probably sparse. I mean, there's maybe a couple more. I don't even think there's a couple, maybe two or three. But I, I think the government is going to have to step in if they want to see more build. I think what's going to keep these names rolling is just we have the same output. We may see some up rates. But if tech is willing to sign these what we call purchase power agreement or PPA, the offtake of these plans at these valuations, I think the stocks will continue to run. But as you say, Dom, they, they're going to need to sign these numbers for this, this run to keep working. And by the way, there's, there's a decade, maybe plus lead time for some of these things to be approved, permitted, and, and built. So, so this is even maybe more onerous than an oil rig or anything else out there. I, I guess my final question is, Anthony, if it's not some of these stocks, which stocks do you cover that you think are still underappreciated with regard to how people can capitalize on this nuclear trade, so to speak? Yeah, I think the way to play it is it gives you a downside protection. It's PEG, uh, Public Service Enterprise Group, based in New Jersey. They own a couple of nuclear units in South Jersey. And what I like about it is there may be some froth in this trade going on right now, but PEG operates the utility in New Jersey, PSENG, as you have on the screen, and that's going to provide some nice downside protection because I think you're going to need to keep seeing these tech companies signing higher and higher contracts for this to work. And while PEG, though, gives you downside protection uh, with the great earnings power that their New Jersey utility has.